dirt everywhere. What's going on guys? How's it going? I build another e-bike. This one is completely different than all the other e-bikes I've put together so far. I've added a rear wheel with gears to the front of the bicycle. So this design here, I, I had no idea if it was going to work. I had no idea if the chain would stay on or it would actually shift gears. Slam, slam. Designing this bike and trying to get it to all work, there was a bit of a challenge. First, it was binding up and I was having some issues, but after a little filing of the sprocket, I was able to get it to work. So for the e-bike, what am I using as a motor? I'm using a 500 watt brushed motor. So instead of using the original 25H sprocket and just putting a freewheel bearing onto the wheel and using the 25H sprocket, I've used a 410 bicycle chain. Bicycle chain. So I've made myself a 410 oval sprocket. So this sprocket took quite a while to put together uh, to get it to actually work. So I would probably recommend just buying the sprocket for $10. See how fast this bad boy will go. Chain goes in. Well, it's, the chain's on there now. Okay, so here we go. Get it into the higher gear carefully without going into the wheel. Okay, so we're in, uh, no, that's, Ooh, that's the top gear. That's probably as fast as it'll go. It's going pretty good. Ah, right to the lily pads. Any frogs? Nope. So why am I using this old steel wheel? Well, there's a reason for that. Because this is a single speed chain, so I'm using this old wheel because we have the old cassette that is actually a little wider, these sprockets, and they'll work with the single speed chain. So I had this little carrier off another bike, I put it on there, and I've just built this little box to hold the batteries temporarily. So I'm using two 10 amp hour batteries. And it works fairly well. All right, so I'm gonna put this controller on. This is a generic 24 volt, 500 watt YK31C. I've used these on a few other bikes, uh, but that motor is a 500 watt motor, so it's kind of maxing it out. I'd like a larger controller. It's pretty simple to hook up. We're gonna be using the blue and yellow. Blue is gonna be my positive, and then yellow's negative, and then these are the main power in. This one, these two here are for the ignition switch. I just have it jumped. That's why, so it's in the on position now. And then these other ones, one's a charge and the other, the other three or four brake lights and things like that, we're not gonna be using those. This 
particular controller, there's only the one plug with the three wires. So with a thumb throttle, what we need to do is make sure we put the red and the black in the proper spot. They come in different colors, but this is going to be your control wire, which is blue on the controller. So it's best to test it with no load. So the next thing we're going to need is a on and off switch. All right guys, so it seems to be working pretty good. I think the controller is a little underpowered. But we're cruising along. It seems to be a bit faster than my other e-bikes. Controller's warming up. Pretty good. <laughs> So when you shift the bike, it's pretty abrupt. <laughs> it's like bang, bang into the gears. It's kind of cool, but the, um, the controller I think is just a little too weak. I bet I could get more out of this if I upgraded this controller. So I'm gonna have to upgrade this controller to a larger controller and then retest this bike and see if we can get more speed out of it. Let's build a solar panel. Tab these cells. Bot welder. Garage and a bot. New batteries on. So why I haven't really been posting much is because I've been going crazy on the gardens. So the original garden was here. I've been making a new garden. Every rock on the ground here is a row of vegetables. So I put all this in. I put the posts in with the tractor, dug some holes, random cedar posts and random logs, whatever I had laying around. So I've been using this electric tiller and I've been doing that whole garden and this one. I've done it all with this little electric tiller. So my buddy drops off wood chips. So I got lots of wood chips I've been putting around. I'm going all out on the garden this year. 